We are always experiencing emotions. So why do we prepare for meetings by setting our demeanor to something neutral or politely positive? If we prepared for meetings by acknowledging our feelings, what might happen? Hi, I'm Anne with Winletha, bringing executive coaching to young professionals. So if we prepared for meetings by acknowledging our feelings, what might happen? I believe we build trust with others by showing our real selves, not by showing up as perfect. I'm not suggesting complaining or detouring a conversation towards solving a personal problem. I'm suggesting acknowledging to yourself, hey, I'm pretty frustrated. And rather than ignoring it or pretending that I'm not prickly, perhaps I just make sure through this meeting I take a breath before I talk. Or, hey, I'm so excited about this thing that has nothing to do with this meeting and I can't ignore it and I can't pretend I don't have this energy, so perhaps I channel it into focusing on this topic, at least for the time of the meeting. I remember being in my first senior staff meeting, and about halfway through, I got a note that said, we want to hear your voice. And I felt like I had been dipping my toe in the water, not knowing yet if it was even a pool or a lake. I didn't know (laughs) if this meeting was about one big decision or lots of little decisions or was a brainstorming session. I was checking it out. And this note came across as though saying, oh, just go jump off the diving board. (laughs) And I realized I was not in a good mindset for this. And I needed to make some shifts in order to contribute. If I had checked in with my emotions before the meeting, I'm pretty sure I would have noted down nervous and defensive and curious This was a group that I had not met with before. And I walked in with a mindset that might have lent itself to asking questions or observing how impressive it was that they came up with great ideas so quickly. I was not entering with a mindset where I could come up with my own opinion on the fly and throw it in the mix. And so for the first half of the meeting, I was trying to be like them, But I wasn't in the mindset to do that. If I had thought about it beforehand, I think I would have been able to contribute more deeply and sooner. So here's an exercise. Before a meeting, be it virtual or in person, write down an emotion you have in that moment. And then think about how it might be able to actually help you in the meeting. And when the meeting finishes, Write down an emotion you have in that moment. As you continue meeting after meeting, see if there are any patterns or if you notice any differences. Perhaps a different meeting flow or a different feel to the engagement you have with other people. As you continue, perhaps try to write down two emotions or three emotions and get really specific with the words that you're using. And keep observing and watching for patterns and differences. A third way is to open a meeting by asking everyone to share one word that reflects how they're feeling or how they're showing up in that moment. And at the end of the meeting, recap again with one word responses on how everyone is feeling as they're leaving. Keep observing, keep watching for patterns, and see what changes for you and for those around you. Use the comments to let me know if you're going to try it, and share what words you're writing down and what you're discovering. 